I had about five multimeters in my collection. Each of them served a different purpose, one of which is a really high quality Japanese one, which is analog. And uh, unfortunately, they don't make analog multimeters uh, these days. Uh, well, they're, they're, the options are quite limited. But in terms of digital ones, this has been the main workhorse in my collection. And I, I bought this back in, um, it must have been 2008 from Maplin. Uh, and as you know, Maplin has gone bust. So um, this is uh, quite an old unit, but it's still um, as good as brand new. It's still in mean condition. Um, so this is a Unity. Uh, I'm not sure if the uh, the later models uh, have chipped out on quality, but this is, is really good build. Um, the uh, the fuse and um, uh, batteries are only accessible when the um, sorry by removing the the back cover. So it's a bit inconvenient, um, but thankfully they don't have to be changed that frequently. And I've got lithium batteries inside. Primary lithium batteries inside, so it lasts a long time. Anyway, this is a very basic uh, sort of, I would call this a dumb type of digital multimeter. There's no backlight. Um, so with this kind of multimeter, there isn't a CPU or, or logic controller or anything like that. Um, all it does is um, uh, it's, it's got a very basic circuitry and um, it, it just does the function that you switch it to. So there's no um, holding of values, there's no auto ranging or anything like that because there's no logic processor. So um, anyway, uh, very recently, I, I've i been uh, uh, struggling to get a um, an old flash gun working that basically fires, fires off a disposable flash bulb. Um, and I suspected the capacitor was uh, bad and I made a video about that. Um, which is on my channel. So I, I took this out and um, I I thought that there was a uh, function to, to measure capacitance, but clearly it, it hasn't got one. And um, that's when I realized that uh, I had to resort to using um, use, using a different meter. Uh, so anyway, um, recently, um, well, there's nothing wrong with this one, but anyway, recently I thought I'll look into what's available on the market and I've got one of these so I picked this up this is um uh Hayoki uh, DT4256 so um Hayoki makes quite a number of well actually they make a very wide range of, of meters but I think for for general sort of electronics kind of um, basic engineering use um this is probably uh the most suitable model um, the other ones are, you know, geared towards uh, very specific uh, jobs, um, and the uh, well, I'll I'll explain a few things once I I take this out. So, I'm just gonna unbox this to show you what what I've got as a replacement. So this Hayoki is made in Japan. And it's uh, ruggedized as well with um, impact resistant uh, housing. So with this one, the um, if I can get this to pop out, so again you see it's it kind of clings on quite well, which is which is what you want. It's got a good stand. The uh, battery and fuse compartment is accessed by removing that screw over there um i believe this slot over here is for the usb data connectivity and i can only imagine those two um transparent diodes there are probably infrared communication uh, uh diodes to communicate with the usb uh, module because i can't figure out what else it would be so anyway, this is uh, a modern type uh, sort of um, smart digital multimeter. So it's actually got a firmware running on it. So there must be a CPU, a very basic CPU or logic controller inside it. Um, so immediately you can see, you can either select AC voltage or DC, or you can do an automatic selection. So let me turn on the uh, backlight so you can see more clearly. So this is all 
set to auto ranging but we also have the option to do a manual range so we can select the range in the uh, 600 millivolt range or we can set it to 6 volts 60 volts up to 600 volts uh, sorry up to a thousand volts actually for dc so um i uh, remember earlier i i, I mentioned that hayoki makes um a couple of models that look identical from the outside but um they are, they've got very very subtle differences like um uh you can get one which i i believe is able to measure in the microamps range so if we have a look at this one if if i try to manual range the um the range only goes down to so just 6 amps 10 amps 60 milliamps is the uh, the uh, minimum range but there, there is a micro amp range version for for you know people who maybe work with laser diodes or things like that we need even more um, uh accurate measurements so they've got things like that and they've got um one i believe that does um ac or dc voltage measurement at much um uh, lower voltage uh, ranges as well um, anyway this is the most uh, suitable generic replacement so I've got this it's got a nice stand here oh. which at the moment is a bit hard to pop out and I believe that's because I haven't pushed the unit in the housing um, correctly so it's quite stable and sturdy but to be honest if you're out doing field work in a customer's house or anything just stick with uh fluke um you know don't you know, think one of this um the lcd screen itself you can tell it isn't very rugged um and i'm not sure how well it would stand up to impact it's act not actually the brightest screen um the actual lcd is not one of those um, you know robust um, kind that you see in most uh, field devices and I don't think you want to be throwing this into a tool bag because um, you probably end up scratching the screen and stuff um, but at you know 140 quid I think this is a good deal so this one does capacitance measurements as well uh, resistance um, it also has an option has has sorry it also has an option to um, to be used with a number of accessories so you can use it with a clamp meter um, and the usb interface as i mentioned earlier so i um, just want to quickly demonstrate before i end this video um, just to let you know one of the benefits that you get from the hayoki's range of uh, or rather i should say the new range of meters like this one is um, they are the fastest in the industry so uh, by that i mean the speed it takes for them to to um, perform a measurement so I'm going to stick the, the, the LEDs in now so I've got the uh, positive and negative ones so again they're quite high quality um, LEDs for, uh, for for its price I'm just going to set this to DC or let's let's just set it to auto ranging and auto AC DC detection so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to measure the voltage across this stack of three uh, AAA batteries and let's see how long it takes to, to, to figure out what I'm measuring see it's almost instantaneous so it's able to determine that I'm measuring DC and it comes up with the voltage instantly well, see, most digital multimeters these days, especially the uh, the ones with all this logic, it takes about a second or you know just under a second to, to figure out what they're trying to do. So there is a slight delay, which is, can be annoying when you're measuring stuff. So let's set the voltage to 6 volts. And the moment I make contact, you can see it instantly comes up with the reading. So this is the fastest um, digital multimeter in terms of response time today. And the other thing that's great is instant beeping when you measure continuity. And that is so handy when tracing faults and you know doing that sort of measurement. Um, that's it. I don't want to keep the video running for too long. Um, just want to point out one last feature voltage detect and this is where you take the uh the meter and, and when you move it close to a, a live cable it's going to beep, beep 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 and this light this led over here will light up to tell you that 
uh, it's in the presence of uh, high voltage potential. So um, that's it. Please leave me any questions in the comments. Well, I thought let's just do a quick test of the voltage detect function anyway. Yep, so that's what it does. Quite simple. By the way, I should have showed you this table earlier in the video. But if you're interested, you can pause the video now and go through the details. So this is the model that, um, that I have. So DT4256. And remember what I was telling you about some of the other models supporting different ranges. So you can see this one here, DT4253 supports DC current management in the microamps range. So um, just have a look at this and find the one that suits your needs best. And one other thing I want to show you is um, if we look at the site here, it shows us what accessories are available. Um, so to see a uh, thermocouple, um, the uh, communications uh, USB package um, and yeah uh, I'm not quite sure how to get the uh, AC clamp uh, accessory for this uh, maybe that's a generic AC clamp but um, yes and one other thing to mention this is a true RMS meter which I'm sure you've worked out by now so that's it thanks for watching